All right, welcome everyone to another video about MS Excel. And this time we are going to discuss one of the questions that I usually get a lot during um, my training classes. And that is how to connect data from Google Sheets to MS Excel. Now, Google Sheets, uh, its its strength is on being shared. So you could, uh, you, if you have your teammates, you could use your, you could use the file at the same time, and you could update the information you have all together at the same time. Something that Excel is not really good at at the moment. So that's uh, something you should use Google Sheets for. However, um, given that Google Sheets is a web-based program, it's not really that powerful when it comes to processing information. There are features that are similar to Excel, like pivot tables and um, other tools, but it's not really as powerful as Excel. And that's understandable since Google Sheets is a web-based uh, program, and it means that you're limited to the processing power of your of the servers, and also at the same time, uh, Google has to set some limitations on what it can do, and that is where Excel uh, comes in. So one way to um, marry these two programs is why not have your data gathering done via Google Sheets, but have Excel process the data. And it doesn't mean that you have to copy, just copy the data from Google Sheets to Excel. You can actually connect your Excel file to the Google Sheets so that anytime that there are changes in the Google Sheets, it will automatically show up in your uh, Excel file. So let's do that. So first thing is you have to publish your your file in Google Sheets. And take note that this is not the same as sharing because when you say publish, anyone who has the link can download the file. And the good thing is that as long as you do not share that link, you're, you're okay. Okay, So it's just, just like sharing in essence, if somebody doesn't have the link, then they won't really have access to the file. So same here. It's just when you want to connect your um, Google Sheets, you have to publish it, not share it. So you have to go to file and then of Google Sheets, I mean, and then under file of Google Sheets, you have to go to share and then choose publish to web. And you will get this pop up. We're in, you'll be asked on how you want to publish the document. And Actually, here in my case, before this video, I actually had it published already. So I'll stop publishing first. Okay, so this is how it should look like when you first launch it. So let me repeat that process. So file and then share and then publish to web. And then th this is what you will get when it's not yet published. So you have to publish the entire document. And then if you want, you can explore the content and settings. And actually, you don't have to touch anything here. You just have to make sure that this one here is checked, okay? The one that says automatically republish when changes are made so that when changes happen in your Google Sheets, the Excel file connected to it will pick it up automatically. So just leave those settings as entire document like that. And here, you just have to change this into CSV file. You want the format of the published document as a CSV. Some, and if you're familiar with CSV, you know that CSV files can easily be opened by Excel. So just change it to CSV and then click Publish. You will get a prompt. And now you have your link here. So just be careful about this link because this is uh, a link that anyone can access. So it's something that you must keep Okay, for yourself. And you can now copy this link and then go to your Excel file. And then once you are in Excel, you then go to data and then look for the buttons that's, uh, that's surrounding the get data button. So there should be smaller buttons here. Now take note that in some versions of Excel, it may say something else, but 
it should say something like get data from the web. Okay. So we'll click this one, the one that says from web. So don't be confused with the uh, other buttons there. There's a button here that says from text or CSV. This is not what we're looking for. We're looking for data from the web. So we click that. Uh -huh. And then and take note that it may take some time for uh, for Excel to load this, especially if, if it is your first time to do this thing. So mine is a little bit faster because like what I said, I actually tested it before recording this video. So now the thing, the pop-up is now looking for the URL and that is where you paste the URL that you got from the publishing okay, of the Google Sheets. And then you click OK and let Excel do its magic. And as you could see, Excel is already reading the data and it's trying to ask like, would you like to load it or transform the data? The transform data button will lead you to Power Query, which is something that I will not discuss now, maybe in the next video. But for now, you just simply load the data. So click load, don't even click that drop down thing. And then you now have your uh, data from Google Sheets in your Excel. You will have this tab here, something that says queries and connections. You can just close that one out. So now you have your data from Excel, from Google Sheets to Excel. Okay, and now we're going to try if it's uh, connected um, in the Google Sheets or if the Excel file is connected to the Google Sheet. And just to give a disclaimer, there's a delay in the update. So not because your Google Sheet is already saved, does it mean that you can automatically just do it in Excel and expect the changes to happen? So it could happen that it's already in Google Sheets and then you click refresh and it will not update. So the workaround is simply to, you could double check if you want, or you could refresh it like twice, as you could see, nothing happened. I, I just refreshed it right now and it, it's not, loading yet so you just refresh again and there it is you now have your um, excel file connected to your google sheets okay and that's it for uh, this video i hope to see you in the next video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you next video